How do you do? I am Christopher Lee. What better way for two gentlemen to settle an affair of honor than by fighting a duel? Napoleon said that duels kept up politeness in society. They certainly kept down the population. Cornet Kister began his friendship with Captain Lutchkov by fighting a duel with him. So we are told in Ivan Turgenev's story, The Swashbuckler. And nobody buckled a swash better than the ill-mannered Captain Lutchkov. If a duel was fought over a lady, she was apt to end up with the survivor, whether she wanted him or not. General Fyodorovich, this is Cornet Kister. He's been assigned to serve in our regiment. Cornet Kister reporting for duty, sir. This way. Then he threw it down, and now they're going to duel. The shorter one's the major. Here comes the regimental guardian of our code of honor. <laughs> Cornet Kister. Kister. Bulyakov. I would advise you to make friends with Dr. Bulyakov. He's not only efficient, he's very discreet. Cornet, <laughs> 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 Excuse me, sir. May I present Cornet Kister? Kister, this is Captain Lushkov. Wrong position! Cornet Kister. I'm privileged to meet you, Krasna. My name is Kister, sir. My apologies, Mr. Kizler. Production! Now then, Mr. Mr. Kloster. I think your joke is offensive. My seconds will call on you whenever you like. Ruchan! Ruchan! You may enter. Oh, it's the best kite this to can't mine. Ah, it's you. A German scholar in our midst. Yes, I enjoy reading Kleister. Prince Homburg. What's it about? I don't know him. Oh, listen. Nun, Ausstäblichkeit. Bist du ganz mein? Du strahlst mir durch die Binder meiner Augen. 
mit Glanz der tausend Wachen, Sonsu, es wachsen Flügel mir an beiden Schultern. Durch Stille ad her Räume schwindt mein Geist. It's Schiller and Goethe. Old comrades? Still joking. Perhaps you'd care to... Ah! A pool joke. Now compose yourself. In a week, you'll be out dancing the mazurka. You know, yesterday I was reading Jack the Fatalist. Remember it? The story of the boy and the bull, huh? Uh, no, I don't read books for children. Oh, what a shame. I'll lend it to you if you read French. Uh, I'm afraid I'm out of practice, although I uh, suppose you'd be willing to become my tutor. <laughs> Do you know Rossoni? Eh? Rossoni? Musician? Yes, that's right. Ah, Rossini, the composer. That's what I said before. Rossini. Excuse me, sir. Lieutenant Rogachev, he wishes to see you. Tell him I've gone. I'm very sorry, Captain, but I told him you were here, sir. Uh, well, show him an idiot. Uh, I can spend it gambling, drinking, or perhaps billiards. Now, which one do you prefer? Some other time. I've company now. Bonjour, monsieur. Je parle français. Go to bed, Rogachoff. Je vous dérange, Monsieur Cupidon. This is Cornet Kister. Pardon, Mr. Cupid. My second will be in touch with you. Your health, sir. Leave at once. even dreamed of meeting anyone as charming as you are. Oh, you must be our new officer. Yes, and your slave for life, my lady. I wonder why your friend isn't dancing. Who? Oh. Captain Lushkov. <laughs> he doesn't dance. Do you know Lushkov? No, but I've heard all the stories. Why he makes grown men tremble, they're so frightened. He must be a very dangerous person. Well, he's rough, but kind. He must be most unhappy. Why do you say that? He has very sad eyes. But if he were lost, I often wonder what his secret is. He keeps his Masha? secret deep inside. Masha! My mother's calling me. Congratulations, Lutzko. The daughter of our host spent half an hour asking me about my friend. So, so? She's a marvelous girl. Tonight, every female here is marvelous. Come on, where are your eyes? She's absolutely angelic. Marsha is her name. I think you've fallen for her. <laughs> Don't be silly. You're the one she's interested in. Go and talk to her. I guarantee she'll cheer you up. <laughs> Excuse me.
Do you like Rossini? A fine Italian composer. A very pretty phrase. So poetic. So elegant. Yes, it's really uh, elegant, isn't it? But I very much prefer Mozart. I prefer Mozart myself. There's no comparison. Rossini is a lovely garden, but Mozart is fireworks shooting up towards heaven. I know that I know nothing, Miss Masha. That's Socrates, sir. That's right. Miss Masha, Captain, I'd be most grateful if the young lady would grant me this dance, uh, with your consent. Yes, of course. Captain, why don't you dance? Because I never learn. What a pity. Excuse me. He's sort of strange, isn't he? I think the captain made an impression. I suppose that I'm being silly, but he's so strange, like a dark and mysterious forest. Everyone underrates him in the regiment, you see. That's why he's so bitter and impatient. Marsha. How beautiful your eyes are. He's in love with her. Damn him to hell. Excuse me, Captain. Were you speaking to me? Uh, no, I wasn't. Uh. You're in love with her. <laughs> You're jesting. Two dances don't mean that I would. And she's in love with you. She loves you, my dear fellow. Masha Shagirna. Yes, Captain. I have. Uh, I wonder, could. Uh, what is it? I have something to tell you. Please go on. Not here. Why not? Because it's personal. Where can we go? But sir, you must know that I'm an unmarried woman. Yet it's so important for, for um, both of us. I beg you. Will you see me? Yes, but later. I'll meet you at the pool later. Half an hour. Masha Shagirna. Thank you for this honor. You know, Masha, I met you a very long time ago. Well, I didn't realize before. If fate calls a man, he must obey. But you are strong. Yes, and firm. Because I'm a soldier. I'm used to the adversities of life. There are good things in life also. You won't be angry if I speak? No. No. Tell me what you wanted to say. How can I express it? Forgive my boldness, Masha. I'm extremely impressed by you, Masha Shagievna. I'm lost. Thank you, Captain. What is your opinion of me? Well, Captain, I'm sorry, but it's hard to give you a positive answer to that question. Try to. Is that important?
I have to know. Are you wounded, Captain? It's nothing. I was fencing. Is it true what they say about how many men have met their death by this arm? A few have. And you're never afraid? Mm. I suppose you just aim your pistol and fire. Masha Sergeyevna, you are trying to avoid my question. Yes, I know. But you see, I'm frightened. No. You mustn't be frightened. You love me. Is it so bad? Why should you be so afraid? I never killed a woman in my life. I'm waiting to hear you admit that you are in love with me. I've never been in love with anyone at all, Masha. And no one loved me. No. Never, Masha, never. No. No, no. Please let me go. Luchkov. Let me go, please. <gasps> oh, now I see. <laughs> I see it all. The two of you against me. A nice big laugh at my expense. Nothing but a practical joke. And I believed you. Shame on you, Captain, for even saying that. I thought you were a vrai gentilhomme. I'm sorry, Captain, I forgot you don't speak French. No, no, I don't speak French. No, I'm nothing but an off. So I leave you in the hands of this educated gentleman. I know you'll have a lovely time. He'll speak French too. Luchkov! Miss Marsha, may I thank you for a pleasant time? Thank you. Yes, what is it? Kista, you made me look like a damn fool. What do you mean by that? You're an insolent young pup. You're overwrought, so I shall ignore that remark. Am I not your friend? You know me, surely. No, I don't. I know that you read poetry. And you fixed up your quarters like a virgin, and to the rest I have no information whatever. I've no idea what you're talking about. I demand an answer. Of course, I'm upset, yes. After all, I'm the victim of a plot to make me look ridiculous. You worked it out together, didn't you? If you believe that, I have only pity for you. Only pity. I don't want pity, you fool. 
Damn you, if I'd wanted pity, I'd have asked for it. Fine, I'm sorry, I don't have pity. You deserve whatever you get. You're damned right, mister, and what I had in mind was a bit of personal satisfaction, Professor. I'm only too happy to oblige. What time would you prefer? Now. I'll give you one more chance. Admit you did it. I didn't. You're a liar! I'm really pleased about this. I shall aim with pleasure at your insipid face. Even after your challenge, you provoke me still. You are quite contemptible. Yes, of course. Gentilhomme. Isn't it sad that I can't speak French? This for my mother and Masha. But why? I don't really know. If that Lushka does it again, there cannot be a god in heaven. leave you now to defend my own honor. I trust that I shall obtain complete satisfaction. 